Dear students, in this module, you shall be able to know about carburanes, know about types of carburanes, and learn about various methods of preparation of carburanes. Let us first know what are carburanes. Carburanes have been known for more than half century, but attracted mainly the theoreticians who wanted to know their structure and bonding. And also small group of industrial researchers who recognized their potential for creating extremely heat stable polymers. Carburanes are polyhedral boron carbon molecules or clusters stabilized by electron delocalized covalent bonding in skeletal framework. The characteristic feature of carburanes is the presence of one or more carbon atoms in electron delocalized boron cluster framework. As the skeletal carbon and boron atoms are involved in delocalized bonding, each typically having five or six neighbors including hydrogen or other attached substituents, these molecules are non-classical and their structure cannot be described in terms of usual organic bond diagrams in which a connecting line between two atoms explicitly indicates an electron pair. In structures which are described connecting lines show the polyhedral geometry only and do not in general represent electron pairs. The range of composition in carburane cages extends from boron rich clusters such as C2, B10, H12 and CB11, H12 minus having as many as six skeletal carbon atoms but those with high boron content are dominant. Consequently, in most theoretical treatments of structure and bonding, carburanes are treated as polyhedral boranes in which one or more skeletal boron atoms are replaced by carbon. The basic principles of bonding in boron clusters are well understood after decades of study and in recent years the advent of density functional theory that is DFT and other powerful computational tools has led to major advances in correlation of electronic structures with their geometry, their reactivity, bond strength, NMR shifts, coupling constants, vibrational frequencies and other properties. Now let us look at the structure of carburanes. A carburane is a cluster composed of boron, carbon and hydrogen atoms. Like many of the related boranes, these clusters are polyhedra and are similarly classified as closo, medo, arachno, hypo, etc. based on whether they represent a complete polyhedron or a polyhedron that is missing one or two or more vertices. The number of valence electrons in carbon atom is equal to those of boron atom plus a hydrogen atom. Hence, BH unit can be substituted by carbon in carburanes. Now depending on their geometry, the carburanes are classified as closo, nido, arachno, hypo, and conjunto. Let us see one by one what these geometries are. The closo structures which represents a close polyhedra, these structures are adopted by borane anions having a general formula Bn Hn2 minus where n can range from 6 to 12 atoms. These structures are also adopted by carburanes having a general formula C2 Bn minus 2 Hn where n can range from 5 to 12 and related isoelectronic species. Their n skeletal boron or carbon atoms define the vertices of a triangular phased polyhedra as shown in the following figure. In these figures you may note that all the polyhedras have the triangular faces 
and they are closed figures. Depending on the closed structures of polyhedron, they may be classified as closocarboranes. The same polyhedral serve as the basis of the structures of nido and arachno compounds too. Although for these boranes and carboranes, the polyhedras are incomplete. That is, they are either missing one or more vertices. If they are missing one vertices, they will be characterized as nido carboranes. If they are missing two vertices, they will be characterized as arachno compounds. Now let us look at the nido structures. Nido structures are adopted by neutral boranes having a general formula Bn Hn plus 4 and also the carboranes with general formula C Bn minus 1 Hn plus 3 and C2 Bn minus 2 Hn plus 2 C3 N minus 3 N plus 1 and C4 Bn minus 4 Hn and related ionic species whose N skeletal boron or carbon atoms occupy all but one of the vertices of the appropriate N plus 1 vertex polyhedron. Similarly, in arachno structures, there are two missing vertices. These structures are adopted by boranes having a general formula Bn H N plus 6 and isoelectronic carboranes such as C2 B N minus 2 H N plus 4 etc. Their N skeletal atoms define all but two of the vertices of the appropriate N plus 2 vertex polyhedron. The formulas of typical closo, neto and arachnoboranes and carboranes are listed in the following table. As you can see, the examples of typical closo, nido and arachnoboranes and carboranes are given here. Just look at the number of skeletal bond pairs. When the number of skeletal bond pairs is 6 and the number of polyhedron vertices is 5, the fundamental geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. For example, in case of closo carboranes, this trigonal bipyramidal geometry is represented by C2B3H5. And in arachno species, it is represented as B3H6 minus. When the number of skeletal bond pairs is equal to 7 and the number of polyhedron vertices is 6, the geometry is octahedron. The examples in case of closer species is B6, H6, 2 minus. In case of carboranes of closer type, this is represented by C, B5, H7 and also C2, B4, H6. In case of nido, this geometry is shown by B5, H9. And in carboranes, nido type, it is shown by C2, B8, H7. For arachno species, this geometry is represented by B4, H10. Similarly, with skeletal bonded pairs 8 and the number of polyhedron vertices 7, the geometry is pentagonal bipyramidal. The examples in case of closo is B7, H7, 2 minus and carboranes such as C3, B5, H7. The nido boranes under this geometry is B4, H10 and B6, H11 and the carboranes Cx, B, 5 minus X, H, 10 minus X where X can range from 1 to 4. In case of arachno species, this is represented by B5, H11. When the number of skeletal bonded pairs are 9 and number of polyhedron vertices are 8, the geometry is dodecahedral, that is D, 2D. The examples under closer species are B8, H8, 2 minus. And in case of carboranes, closer type, 
The examples are C2, B6, H8 and C3, B5, H7. Under the category of arachno species, this is represented by B6, H11. Now when the skeletal bonded pairs are 10 and the number of polyhedron vortices are 9, the geometry is tricapped trigonal prism, also known as D3H. In, under the category of clothal species, the examples are B9, H9, 2 minus and C2, B7, H9. Under the category of nido species, B8, H12 and C2, B2, H10. When the number of skeletal bonded pairs are 11 and the number of polyhedron vortices are 10, the geometry is bicapped. The geometry is arcanidum antiprism or D4D. Examples under the clozal species are CB3, H10, 2 minus and C2, B5, H10. Under the nido species, B8, H12 minus and C2, B7, H11. Under the arachno species, the example is B8, H14. Moving on further, when the number of skeletal bonded pairs are 12 and the number of polyhedron vortices are 11, the geometry is octadecahedron also called C2D. Examples under clozal species are B11, H11, 2 minus. Another one is C, B10, H11. Yet another one is C2, B2, H11. Under nido species, the examples of octahedron species, octadecahedron species is B10, H14 and C, B9, H13. Also C2, B8, H12. Under the category of arachno species, the examples are B9, H15 and C2, B7, H13. Now when the number of skeletal bonded pairs are 13 and the number of polyhedron vortices are 12, the geometry is icosahedron also represented as IH. The examples under clozal species are B12, H12, 2 minus and B11, H12 minus and C2, B10, H12. Under the nido species, the examples are C, B10, H13 and C2, B9, H11, 2 minus. Also C4, B7, H11. Under the category of arachno species, the examples for icosahedron are it is B10, H15 minus and B10, H14 minus. Now apart from these, the hypocarburanes, herein as I said, there are two missing vertices in a close polyhedron. These structures are adopted by those carburanes having a general formula C2, B, N minus 2, H, N plus 6, wherein three vertices are missing from the parent closer carburane. I am repeating this. In case of hypo, as I said earlier, the hypostructures are adopted by carburanes wherein three vertices are missing from parent closer carburane. The general formula for compounds which adopt hypostructures are C2, B, N minus 2, H, N plus 6. The next category of carburanes are conjunctocarburanes. These carburanes are formed by joining two or more preceding type of geometries, that is, either a combination of arachno or nido or a combination of closo or hypo or any other combination. 
this will come under the category of conjunctive carboranes. The position of hydrogen atoms in boranes and carboranes are worth noting. In closer borane anions, that is in BN HN2 minus, the NBH units are aligned so that the BH bonds point radially outward away from the centers of the BN polyhedral and are referred to as exo BH bonds. The CH units of isoelectronic closocarburanes having general formula C BN minus 1 HN minus or C2 BN minus 2 HN are similarly oriented. When anions like BN HN 2 minus and C B n minus 1 H n minus are protonated to form B n H n plus 1 minus and C B n minus 1 H plus 1. The extra hydrogen atom apparently occupies a bridging position either between the two boron atoms which are lying over an edge of the n cornered polyhedron or for three atoms over a polyhedron face. This has been supported by microwave spectroscopic study. Let us see the structures of closocarburanes now. For example, we start with 1,6 dicarba closohexaborane having the formula C2B4H6. Here the two carbon atoms are named as dicarba and because in all we have six atoms including four borons and two carbons we call it hexaborane. So the name 1,6 dicarba closohexaborane. It has a regular octahedron structure as shown in the figure where four boron atoms are present in one plane and the two carbon atoms are present above and below the plane containing the boron atoms. It has a closed symmetrical structure and hence a closer carburane. You can easily see in the figure that all the vertices of this polyhedron are occupied either by carbon or by boron atoms. Another example of closer carburane is 2,4 dicarba closo heptaborane having the formula C2B5H7. In this figure you can see that the white balls are representing boron atoms and the black balls represent carbon atoms. In all there are seven vortices and hence the name heptaborane. Since there are two carbon atoms we call it dicarba heptaborane. Since all the vertices of this polyhedra have been occupied either by boron atoms or by carbon atoms, this forms an example of closer carburanes. Look at another example, 1,7 dicarba closo octaborane having the formula C2B6H8. Here also we have 8 vertices occupied either by boron atoms or by carbon atoms giving a closed polyhedra and hence the name closocarburane. Few more examples of closocarburane includes 1,6 dicarba closo nona borane and 1,10 dicarba Closo decaborane having the formula C2B8H10. Each of the polyhedron vertices have been occupied either by carbon or by boron atoms. Another example of closo carburane is 2,3 dicarba closo undecaborane having the formula C2B9H10. 
H11. Now moving on to the nidocarburanes. As we have already mentioned that in nidocarburanes one of the vertices is missing as compared to a regular polyhedra. For example, the nidocarburanes are having a general formula C2 B n minus 2 H n plus 2. Let us take the example C2 B4 H8. In this compound, only four vertices n minus 2 are occupied by boron atoms of the regular six cornered octahedron with n vertices and two of the vertices are occupied by carbon atoms. Note in this structure that one vertex is missing. Now let us see the structure of arachnocarburanes. The general formula for arachnocarburanes is C2 B n minus 2 H n plus 4. Let us see this example where we have the structure of C2 B8 H10 4 minus. Note in this structure that two vertices are missing as per the regular polyhedron structure. Now let us discuss the bonding in carburanes. Bonding in carburanes is governed by certain rules called wade mingo rules. These rules are named after the scientist who formulated them. The names of these scientists are Kenneth Wade and David Michael Patrick Mingos, collectively known as Wade Mingo rules for the bonding in carburanes. In order to rationalize the structure of carburanes, a scheme of skeletal electron counting was developed to which the following rules are applicable. Let us see what are these rules. Step 1. First, the number of skeletal electrons are calculated as the sum of the following contributions. Each BH bond contributes 2 electrons. Each CH bond contributes 3 electrons. Each additional hydrogen contributes 1 electron. Finally, the anionic charge on the cluster is to be added to above contributions. That is, the skeletal electron count should be equal to twice of BH bonds plus thrice of CH bonds plus 1 for each additional hydrogen and plus the total anionic charge on the cluster. Now step 2. We then calculate the number of pairs of electrons which is equal to the skeletal electron count divided by 2. Now step 3. Let the number of vertices that is the number of boron and carbon atoms is given by n. Then by comparing the number of electron pairs with the number of vertices, the cluster structure can be identified. As given in the following table, if the number of electron pairs comes out as n plus 1, the type of borane structure is CLOSO. When the number of electron pairs is n plus 2, the type of borane is NEDO. When the number of electron pairs is n plus 3, the type of borane is arachno. When the number of electron pairs is n plus 4, the type of borane is hypo. Now let us first discuss about the CLOSO carburanes. These have a completely closed triangular polyhedral structure in which all the vertices of the triangular polyhedral structure are occupied by either boron or carbon atoms. There are n plus 1 electron pairs present in multicenter bonding orbitals of the skeletal structure of CLOSO carburane, where n is the total number of boron and carbon atoms. For example, C2 B10 H12. In this compound, n is equal to 12, that is, the total number of carbon and boron atoms. According to Wade's rule, the two CH units contribute 
2 multiplied by 3, 6 electrons. And 10 BH units contribute 10 multiplied by 2, that is 20 electrons, to the bonding molecular orbitals or the structural skeleton. Thus, there are 13 electron pairs present in the multicenter bonding orbitals of C2, B10, H12 and hence it is a closo carburane. Nido carburanes. These carburanes may be assumed to be derived from the closo triangular polyhedral structure of a closo carburane by removal of one of the vertices of the polyhedron. The resulting nido that is a nest like structure has n plus 2 electron pairs in its multicenter bonding orbitals. In nido C2B4H8, n is equals to 2 plus 4 that is 6. So to calculate the skeletal electrons, we say the 2 CH units contributes 2 multiplied by 3, 6 electrons and the 4 BH units contribute 4 multiplied by 2 that is 8 electrons and the 2 extra hydrogens contribute 2 electrons to the bonding orbitals of the skeletal structure of Nido 2,3,C2,B4,H8. Thus, there are 8 electron pairs in the multicenter bonding orbitals of the skeletal structure of the carburane. Hence, the nido structure. In arachnocarburanes, the structure of this type of carburanes may be assumed to have been derived from nido structures by removal of the vertices of these structures. There are n plus 3 electron pairs in the multicenter orbitals of carburanes. For example, C2, B7, H13, which fits into the formula of n plus 3 formula. Now let us see the important features of bonding in carburanes. The triangular faced polyhedra shown in the figure form the basis for the structures of boranes and carburanes. The skeletal borone or carbon atoms occupy all, all but one or all but two of the vertices of the appropriate polyhedron in closo, nido or arachno compounds respectively. Each skeletal boron or carbon atom has a hydrogen atom or some other singly bonded ligand terminally attached to it by a bond radiating outward that is exobond which is away from the center of the polyhedron to which a pair of electrons is allocated. The remaining valence chain electrons that are known as bonded pairs are regarded as skeletal bonding electrons represented as B pairs. Each skeletal boron or carbon is considered to provide three atomic orbitals for skeletal bonding. The symmetries of the polyhedra are such as to generate n plus 1 skeletal bonding molecular orbitals from these atomic orbitals where n stands for number of polyhedron vertices and n is equals to b minus 1. Compounds with skeletal atoms and b skeletal bonded pairs adopt closo structures if b is equals to a plus 1. Nido structures if b is equals to a plus 2 and arachno structures if b is equals to a plus 3. Now let us summarize what we have learned. We have learned that the carburanes are compounds with the basic structural unit containing a number of carbon and boron atoms arranged on the vertices of a triangular polyhedron. We have also learned that the structures of carburanes are closely related to those of isoelectronic boranes wherein BH is same as B- minus which is same as 1 carbon and BH2 is same as BH- or BL or CH. We have also learned that the structure of carburanes can be predicted with the help of wade mingo rules. We have also understood that the carbon and boron atoms in closer structures 
are numbered in such a manner that the top vertex is given number 1 and the remaining vertices are numbered in the clockwise direction.